Number 38. Sketch the electric field lines in the vicinity of the conductor in figure 18.49, given the field was originally uniform parallel to the object's long axis. So basically in the text, right, when we have some type of object, this is basically what's going to happen to the uh, electric field. Uh, we're going to have these lines, you know, it, some of the lines at the top being nice and straight. And then they're going to start to kind of curve into the object more or less. All right. And they're going to start to curve a little more and then a little more straight on, a little more up. A little more up here, right? I think we kind of get the picture. All right, straight line then maybe down here. Great. And then these will come out from the object now. The reason why they'll come out now is because, uh, remember, uh, when you're dealing with now a um, uh, metal figure of the sort, right? These metal figures can become polarized because the charges inside of a, a metal are allowed to, to move. And therefore, remember, there's always going to be electric field lines always emanate from a region of positivity. And therefore, I know on the left-hand side, if these arrows are pointing from left to right, I then know on the left side, there's something positive. On the right side over here, there'll be something negative. And therefore, the negative charges will collect over here on the left side, the positive charges basically over there on the right side. And uh, we polarize the object. And therefore, right, the arrows come in to the negative and emanate from the positive. So hopefully everything kind of makes sense and cool. Great, all right, guys, thank you so much. Take care and we'll see you soon. And if you guys haven't noticed, electric field lines are not my favorite. Take care.